Hello there, everyone. This is Quiver C. Welcome back to Mega Man 4. Last time we went through two stages, that being Toad Man and Dust Man. And then I tried Pharaoh Man and he beat my butt, so I'm going somewhere else. I still have no idea who is going to be weak to what at this point, and I I don't know. So I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to go to Ring Man. I have no reason for it other than I'm still perplexed as to why he is a thing. Ring man! Yep, that is a man, and on his head there is indeed a ring. And of course, ring man lives in the sky! I see. I, I understand what you are trying to convey to me, game. So, we got... Oh, I want, I want, I want, I want! Yes! We got rainbow platforms that start to disappear as soon as I step on them. We got guns mounted on the wall. Oh! Man, those are kind of kind of nerve-wracking. Okay, kill that thing. Wait for this. Hop. Okay. So that's the trick. The trick is I need to try and land on them further ahead, so that way I can outpace them. And we got little Mr. Saturn orbital things. I Man, that's not Mr. Saturn. They're just they just look a little Saturn. They're they're obviously there because they have rings. That's why they look like Saturn. I don't like this room, and I want it to die. Dang. Not bad, Toad Man. Not bad at all. Ah. Okay. Uh, well, this is a room that exists. Probably a checkpoint room, I had to guess. Oh, uh, I can't move. Hi. What is this? It's a hippo! Oh, we gotta shoot the hippo's pillar to bring the hippo down. I would like to shoot his missiles as well, please. Yes, okay. Come on, dang it. Die! Ugh! Lousy thing. I love and hate that hippo, oh, no. Uh. Okay, you're immune to that. Are you immune to dust? Can I get rid of you with dust? Ooh, it looks like I can. Indeed, I can. Oh. Eh. Ooh, hold up. I would rather give this to Toad Man. Okay, that was a waste. For some reason, I thought it was gonna come back. Oh, just get the thing. Toad Man, help! Whew. Making good use of Toad Man. Not so much Dust Man. I actually still don't know! Dang it. <sighs> oh, that wasn't even a... Oh, my lord. Okay. Well. That sucks. And it is what it is. Whew. Ring Man has a bit of a rough stage. Oh, okay. I would like to recharge my wasted dust powers. Thank you. Good night. So it starts off pretty easy, but once you get to the hippo, that's when things just start to really ramp up. Hippos are a, so a sure sign of death. That's not even a joke. Those things are dead. I, I think, I, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't hippos, like, literally the deadliest animal on Earth? They are vicious. Viciously territorial critters. Don't mess with hippos. They are omens of death. Although, I have to wonder. How does he feel about toads? He doesn't like it. Oh, I accidentally summoned Rush Marine. Uh, he doesn't like it, but his pillar doesn't care, which I was hoping it would. I was hoping it would care. Darn it. Almost got him. There we go. That went slightly better than uh, before. Dang it. Okay, let's just try and stick high. Not worry about trying to kill the saw blades. Like, the whole reason I cared about trying to kill the saw blades was for 
healing, but healing ain't gonna help me that much if I'm dead. Hi. Um. Oh. Okay. You are very non-threatening and very, very annoying. Also, Dr. Cossack must have uh, mastered the skills of flying eyeballs, because that is the second robot we've seen with that uh, power at their disposal. Also, another hippo. Lovely. Eh. Crap. I knew that was going to happen. You, ha you can't be serious. The first one I understand, but really? I still haven't reached a checkpoint? Oh no. Well, I really need to figure out how best to... Oh, ah, dang it. How best to deal with hippos then. Ugh. There we go, he's got the health. But yeah, I need to figure out a better way to deal with these hippos because they are annoying. At this point, I'm thinking, um, I'm probably not gonna end up beating Ringman yet. I might want to get some other weapons first. But we'll see. Yeah. I don't even know why I'm bothering to... Not bothering to charge my buster against these. Against these things. Oh, I want that, I want that, I want that, I want that. Thank you. Whew. All right, time for the first hippo of death. Obviously, the thing I need to try and figure out is how best to handle his missiles. Like, I know I could use Toad Man, but given my limited resources, I'd rather not yet. Although, with this, it's like if you're gonna give me a big, a big energy. Oh, here we go, sort of. So I guess that's the trick, stay far away. I can dig that. Uh oh, not today. Not today, Sawblade. Well, okay, maybe today. Gotcha. Get rid of you. Thank you for the health. Don't really care. Perfect. All topped up. And right before the eye ring. Just gotta time my shots. Perfect. And now we get to the second hippo. Remember, stay far back. And jump up so I can hit the missiles. This way they also can't fly back around to me because they despawn. There we go. Okay, so the hippos, I think I've got them mostly figured out. Hmm. I am given a choice. Interesting. All right. Well, let's see what lies up the ladder, shall we? <gasps> it's Little Helper Buddy! Thanks for the E-Tank again! I appreciate his service. I wonder if he always gives an E-Tank or if he's kind of like, uh, you know, the question mark canisters from 3, where it's a random. Are these like the rainbow platforms? They are reverse rainbows. Okay, reverse rainbow platforms. Uh, kind of scary, but not really any more so than the rainbow platforms were. Hup. I had to open my mouth, didn't I? All right, <clears throat> last life. Well, hey, on the plus side, uh, if I do end up having to game over again, you know, at least I got an E-Tank out of this. Uh, let's still, I'd like it if, oh, hey, bonus. Give me that. Yeah, extra life. So now I get another shot, which would be very helpful, especially if I can hmm, make it to the boss. I would like to make it to Ringman and at least find out if I have his weakness. That would be most beneficial. Uh-oh. 
I don't think I can get far enough away from- Oh no, you're- you're- you- I still can't- Okay. Works for me! Oh, wait, no, I- what? I got hurt there. Okay, I'm not exactly sure, uh, how they operate then. There's a thing up there. I think that might just be a background planet. Alright! We are now at Ringman. And I have an extra life. Well, let's start off by seeing if, um, Toad is good against Ring. Ha! Oh, he's got the ring of rangs okay. Toad is not good against you, nor is Dust. I do not have your weakness. Which means we have to fight! And die! Yes! Well, at least I get one final attempt at full health with the Mega Buster. You and me, Ring Man, let's see if I can conquer you without your weakness. Woo! You're kind of similar to, like, Shadow Man with how you operate, I can't help it. No, okay, you are really annoying as a result of that, actually. Given a few attempts, I could probably do him without a weakness, but um, I died and game over, so we'll save him for another time. All right, so it wasn't Ring Man. It's not Pharaoh Man. There can only be so many. Bright Man, let's go to Bright Man. Maybe the Rainwater will short circuit his electric bulb. Who knows? Yep, this looks like a place. Oh, is it fireworks? That's neat. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Hold the phone. Oh, it doesn't come back if he. Ooh. Oh, okay. I get it. So, right now it's light. I shoot this, it goes dark. But, where's the other robot? Where's the green one? He was there. So basically, I'm dealing with a light dark mechanic where I control the switch. If I shoot the green bots, I turn on the lights. If I shoot the flies, I turn them off. So my goal then is to not kill the flying light bulb bugs unless I can turn the lights on immediately after. <laughs> ah! Crap. Well, this stage is annoying, and uh, <laughs> I don't really think coming back to it with a weakness is going to make much of a difference. Although it would mean I would have an easier time with the boss and would therefore need to redo less, you know, if I were to lose to him. Huh? Okay. Well, I made it to the end of the first hallway, and all it cost me was two lives and half my remaining health. My prize? A totem pole! Why not? Oh, and a little grasshopper! Oh, I both love and hate this. Um, grasshopper? Grasshopper? Okay. Ah, no! <laughs> On the off chance that I don't have Bright Man's weakness, I think I'm going somewhere else. That stage is a lot. Ugh. We're off to a great start today. We're off to a great start. Drill Man! Let's go to Drill Man. I feel like his power would probably be useful for non-combat activities anyway. Like, maybe there's walls we could drill through or something. So, he's probably a very useful target to get. Just by that potential logic alone. <laughs> Get away from me, Ladybug. I don't want nothing to do with y'all. Hey, another Stompy Boy from Dustman stage. Okay. So, Drill Man, we are in a cave for mining because he is a drill, and drills are good at that. Honestly, the theming does line up pretty well for everything so far, except for Ring Man. I still. Did not see the bats! Ugh. You know, at least with the theming here, and like in the plant, 
there is some logic as to why they might be there besides the fact that, oh, it's their theme, you know? Maybe they need to drill for resources to make more robots. Maybe Bright Man is in charge of the power plant that makes their batteries or whatever. Or, or powers their facilities. I'm still trying to figure out a purpose for Pharaoh Man's Pyramid. And right now, the only thing I can figure is that he built Pharaoh Man, and now Pharaoh Man demands it. Come to think of it, I have no idea what, to, what Ring Man's stage could be for, but, um... Then again, I don't know what Ring Man could be for. He is a robot with a ring. Uh oh Not a fan of these shield cannons. I am not doing very good on my timing. There we go. All right, got him. That's just weapon energy. I don't need it. That is an E-tank. I do need that. Yoink. Yeah. Thank you, Rush Coil. Okay, we're seeing these little uh, spinning car bots again. Nothing too, uh, nothing too dangerous. Only moderately annoying when they start to spin. Oh, geez, falling rocks and whatever these are. Propeller bots. Propeller bots with guns that slam down on you. Got it. Got it. Look out for those things. They are more dangerous than they appear. Whoa. Oh. oh, boy. And suddenly I am failing hard at these guys. Why wasn't my Mega Buster charging? I was holding the... I was holding the fire button and it wasn't charging and I don't know why and I'm upset. Okay, I'm gonna have to take this slow and steady. Ha! Yeah. Uh, okay, you don't aim. Ha! A magical switch that creates rock force. Okay, why not? Apparently I can't shoot it, which means leap of faith. Ugh. Ugh, I'm on the verge of... I don't like these rocks. I really don't like these rocks. Those rocks... Mm -mm. They seem to have a mind of their own. All right, let's try and not lose all my health on these things. There, they're not hard when I'm actually charging the buster. I still don't know why it wasn't charging last time. Okay, so I guess that they don't start dropping rocks until I'm like right in front of it. So I can only dodge under it like that. Oh, okay, and yeah, the, the broken bits also. Yeah, that's great. That's, I should have expected as much. Okay. Ugh. Whatever, just, there we go. I don't know how you're supposed to do that without getting hurt. Considering that the little fragments also hurt, Yeah, how are you supposed to get through that? Like, genuinely, how are you supposed to get through that without getting hurt? I, I don't, I don't think it's possible. I think that you have to take damage there. Which seems wrong. I don't know, like, it would still be tricky to get past, even if the fragments didn't hurt, but they do. And that's to speak nothing of the endlessly spawning spin heads here. Yeah, I don't know what they expect out of you. I, I genuinely don't know. Okay, I'm going back through that sta- I hit the- I want to continue, please. I'm, I choose to make this stage be one that I actually push through. Thanks for the face. But, yeah, there's something about that rock section that doesn't really feel like it's playing fair. Which tells me that either it's randomly not playing fair, which would 
I don't think it is in this case. I know Mega Man has played unfair in the past, but I don't think that's what's happening here. Which leads me to option B, and the much more likely thing is that I am missing something inherent about those rocks. So I need to get back there and figure out what it is. At least the stage up until then is pretty easy. Plus, doing this allows me to get that E-Tank again. Honestly, I might just end up having to use the E-Tank. But I don't want to. I really don't. Come on, wake up. Like, it seems like a stupid thing to have to use an E-Tank on. You know? Ugh. Whatever. I will meet you there either way. Alrighty. Back here, got the E-Tank. I have four of them now. And yeah, if I need to, I know I'm just gonna have to use it on the rock section. But I still wanna see if I can figure out what it is I'm just not getting about it. Thank you for the extra life, Mr. Carr. Okay. Let me see if I can get rid of you. Oh dang, another extra life. All right, cool. Less cool. There we go. Okay. If I stand here... Nope, I still get hit by the tiniest of pebbles. I need to experiment. That is instant death. Why, why am I doing that? No, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure this out. So can I do like... Nope. I can't slide through it. No. Can I, like, shoot it? Oh, I can shoot them! Okay. Okay. I don't know why it didn't occur to me that I could shoot them. I guess because they look to me like something that would take way more than just one buster shot. But no, they don't. One buster shot and boom, dead rock. And that gives me a tiny window with which to escape. I get it. There. See, I knew it. I was missing something fundamental. Woo. Also, the rocks can drop stuff. This is information I should take advantage of. Oh, man. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Time out, time out. You need to die. As do you. Oh, each individual shard! Okay. Life! Other life! You know what? I just gained a bunch of lives there. I'm okay with it. I was trying to get some health, but hey. If the game wants to give me lives instead, I'll take it. Ugh, it's Gemini Man all over again. Getting... Getting lives off of the environment. I really am starting to hate these stupid things. Okay. Roop. Nice try, rocks. I have learned that you are not bulletproof. Oh yeah, this is so much better now that I know I can do this. Wow. Ow. Still ain't foolproof, obviously. I, s I knew that was going to happen as soon as I jumped in the air. It's fine. It's fine. It was my own fault for trying to just ignore him. How many lives do I have, anyway? Four. Okay. We're still doing good on the life department. Stupid thing. Hop. 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 And one more. Hop. This is the run. I can feel it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> nice try, rocks. <laughs> yeah, I gotta remember, that one is so, so high up, I can just dodge it. Like, I can dodge it outright. I don't need to try and be fancy schmancy with it. <sighs> that one, though. Ooh, actually, you know what? Hold on, let me get rid of you. 
This one is a good one for me to use to try and get some health back because I'm safe. So I'm gonna do that. Oof. The only problem is I gotta deal with these goobers. And then stuff like that's gonna happen as a result. Uh oh. Okay, maybe I shouldn't. Oh, you just you just stay there, okay. There we go. Yeah, let's just Whoa! Okay. Let's keep moving. Gotcha! And I got some health out of that, too. Okay, the next rock. Ow. <sighs> Dang it. That... That one sucks because of that last flyboy. I don't like it very much. A what? I seriously don't know why sometimes they start spinning early and other times they don't. Those stupid cars are an enigma. There we go. Not happening. Aw, oh, man! I wish I could have gotten that. Oh, well. Not that big a deal right now. Why did I hesitate? Nope. Nope. There we go. So I can't leave him there shooting. That's how I die before. Right, keep moving. Hup. There we go. That's how you do. That is not how you do. The boss! I made it! Finally! And I've still got some lives, too. Good. Alright, Drill Man! Can I rain on your parade? Not really. Also, where'd you go? Hi! You're not... Really? You neither? Okay, well, uh, on the plus side, you seem to be pretty simple. Yeah, you're actually really easy. I just keep moving, shoot you when you pop up, rinse and repeat. Yeah, this is... Wow, Drill Man. You're so... I shouldn't have mocked him. But, to be fair, to be fair, I entered that room with, like, no health. I, I'm definitely going to be able to beat Drill Man. I am not afraid of him. Oh, oops. Hang on. I didn't think that was going to happen. There we go. I just, don't release the button too early, is what I just learned there. <laughs> Sorry, Drill Man. Uh, you know what? You dodged it anyway. Good on you. Good on you. Because that release was intended out. All right, and you managed to actually get a real hit on me. I'm proud of you. I'm upset at you, but I'm proud of you. Now. Oh, really? I think that's the first time I've seen you move without jumping or drilling. You have a few more tricks up your sleeve. You just ain't using them. You might actually be able to beat me proper again! Okay, idea. I'm using this, because although he's not weak to it, it has the power to hit him and where I tried to pause and use an E-Tank. I was a bit slow. <sighs> Worst part is, I can't even use that strategy again because I don't have any ammo. Huh. <sighs> 
swinging at you and you're walking? Okay, we're back to about an even amount. Okay, you drill. Funny, his most dangerous power of all is simply to walk. His least dangerous power is his drilling. But I'm starting to whittle him down. Another couple of those and I think we got him. Come on, one more cycle. Got him. I just needed him to not walk around. <laughs> Hooray! We did it. You got Drill Bomb! Drill Bomb, interesting. And you got Rush Jet Adapter! Heck yeah! The Rush Jets. Well, I have been going for over half an hour, and I have only managed to beat one Robot Master today. <laughs> but I do need to stop for a moment and take a little bit of a break here. Next time, uh, I guess I'm gonna go to Dive and or Skull Man, because... At this point, Toad and Dust need to be good against Dive, Skull, or Bright. Unless Dust is good against Toad, which I didn't consider until just now. Hm. Well, it is what it is, if so. Either way, we'll find out. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye!